Hey everybody, it's Eileen. How are you doing today? Ah, oh, I've been so busy. This weekend, my husband was sick, so I started cleaning my studio and I found some fun stuff. So I want to show you a couple of those things. Oh wait, I didn't put them in the basket. Might be saving them. Let's see if we see if anybody's here. Okay, people are coming in. I'm having trouble with Facebook. Uh, I'm not able to see it on my my um, computer for some reason. The other night I was trying to, um, you know, I've been trying to do this newsletter. Hey, Charlotta, Glum, and Judy, how are you? Uh, anyway, I had to change some permissions. So I changed them, and all of a sudden, nothing. Could not get on Facebook, and still, three days later, it's telling me, uh, basically, I messed up and um, something went wrong. <laughs> so I wrote in a couple things to uh, Facebook, but I haven't heard back. Hey, Jean, Belinda, Sue, Karen. Karen, how's your husband doing? Hi, Anne. It has been a while. We still haven't gotten together. We live like 10 miles away, not even 10 miles, five miles. We still need to meet up. Hi, Joellen. Yeah, I, I don't know, Belinda. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about it. But anyway, it's amazing how much I can do on my phone. So well, hopefully we figure it out. Hey, Linda. Okay, yes, PM me, Anne, because I'm around for a couple of weeks. So anyway, today is fun. Oh, I started going on this project and I could not stop. It's one of those. So this was the last one that I did. And it's really like a cute little mini book. So this was my third version. This was my second version. And I know that it needs something right here. And I'm thinking something stamped, but um, well, I'll go sh through and show it to you. And this was my, <laughs> my first version. And it all came from these little envelopes that I found and realized that they fit in the notepad die. So my brain has just been, you know, jumping around ever since I figured it out. This is the notepad die. I think a lot of you probably have it. If you don't have it, I have it here in my Etsy store. Hey, Stacy, how are you? How's, how's Iowa going? Um, hi, Carol and Nancy. Haven't seen you in a while. It's Minnesota Nancy. Rhonda. Doing much better. Still has a way to go, but he's getting there. Oh, good. I've been watching. Um, I missed somebody right there. Who's that? Anna. Anna, how are you from Portugal? Wow. Cool. Hey, Jane. I hope you're not getting into too much trouble. I saw you and your friend, the picture of you and your friend. Um, anyway, so life is good, except for my husband. He is still sick. He went to work today. And I cannot believe they didn't send him home because he is coughing his head off and he is not feeling well at all. So uh, I'm, I just feel bad for him. But also I'm not sleeping because he coughs all night. And anyway, I hope he gets better. And I hope I don't get it because I'm supposed to travel. So let me just bring you up to speed. I have my list of events here. All right. Lots going on and coming up. And some fun news, but I'm not ready to tell you yet. But I, I think we we got to deal with somebody. So uh, we'll see. All right. So starting it off on Thursday, I wanted to say we are not going to have the class at four because instead I'm doing a video for Michael's at one o'clock. And we're going to make these cute little... I don't know if I can find them. They're those little earrings out of leather. There they are. So they're really fun. If you guys have the dies, they're especially fun. Because um, you won't have to cut them out by hand. <laughs> so uh, it's amazing. They do cut out of leather. So I'll show you some tips on how to do that. And uh, you're making some of your journals in your shop. Great, Cindy, at Kids Camp. Oh, fun. Oh, I'd love to see. Post them in the group, Cindy. Hey, Mitziana. Oh, thanks, Anne. Well, you will whip them up, I'm sure. I am traveling again, Stacy. 
Yeah, we need to talk. All right. Stacy owns a beautiful store. And Stacy, do you still have the retreat center out in um, Iowa near Cedar Rapids, right? And I can't remember the name of the town, but I, I've been there. Uh, I just saw, um, yeah, it's not COVID. It is, it's a virus, but it's not COVID. Thank God. Um, hey, Karen and George, hope you're doing well. Hey, there's Alicia and Darlene. Oh, good to see everybody. And I know, I think I said Glum. He's, sh oh yes, you're right, Glum. Okay, sorry. Two o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Central. Michaels does Central. So I'm glad you said that. Mitsuyana is back. Okay. All right. So uh, that's happening on Thursday. So just remember different time and just go to a different place to watch. But we will be there and we'll be live. Uh, you can get in the chat, I'm pretty sure. Last time we had a technical issue, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. You never know. Okay. And then we have an event in Ohio that is uh, called Stamp Away. And I went to it last year. It was fun because everybody dressed up like they were dressed up as like the flappers. It was 1920s kind of thing. So people had really pretty uh, outfits on and, you know, the men had like the old fashion, you know, with the cool hats and stuff. So that was fun. So that's just a Friday night and a Saturday. I'm going to meet up with some friends there. So if anybody lives or goes to that uh, and you want to get together, just let me know. Then I'm going to, and don't forget about the retreat in Helen, Georgia. I can't wait to see some of you guys that signed up. That's going to be August 19th through the 21st. And then I think I'm going to Scrapping in the City, uh, the 24th and 25th. That's in Knoxville. So we're still setting that up. So let me know. A 13,000 square foot store and separate retreat. Oh, man, Stacy, I got to get out there. Maybe. All right. I, we'll, we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. Hmm. So, but I'm still around. <laughs> So uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to make this little project. I just had a couple little things to show you. As I said, I have been uh, cleaning and kind of trying to organize in here. Uh, this junk journaling, it, it's a black hole. I have so much fun stuff, but uh, oh, Nancy McClellan. Oh, good. We'll see her there. We always see them. They are so much fun. Um, that store is huge, Stacy. Wow. <laughs> I got to go see it. I'm nosy. So uh, anyway, that's what's happening. So uh, also, if you haven't joined the fan club, I think most of you I see here, I know. So uh, most of you are in the fan club, but I hope you'll join that. We're almost up to 7,000 members. So, you know, if we can get to 7,000, that would be fun. So invite a friend if you think they might like, um, you know, being in our group. The only thing is, Ask them if they want to, you know, some of you recommend it, but then if they don't answer the questions, we don't let them in. So we don't want to seem like we don't want them, but we just want to make sure that they want to be in here. Okay. So um, just remind them. I think that is huge, Stacy. All right. I, I got to come see that. Yes. Bottomless pit. You're not kidding, <laughs> but it's all fun. So, um, yeah, join the fan club, check out the blog. This month we're working on travel memories. So that's a lot of journals, um, but we're using any product. So the theme is that travels, uh, travel memories, but we're, you know, the designers are using anything. So we invite you to join in the challenge with us and share that in the Facebook group and post pictures of what you're doing. Um, you know, I have been trying to take more pictures. My daughter keeps telling me, my daughter, the photographer, mom, print them out. So we made for my husband this, um, it, it's nothing like a scrap. I mean, it's just an album where you put in pictures. It was a lot to organize. So I got all the kids and his brother and sister, and he just sits there and looks at it all the time. So I know that we need to do uh, more photos, our family. So I'm going to try and do that. I might get one of those little little uh, cameras, you know, the, well, the things that print from your phone, if anybody has one and you recommend one, um, put that in the chat so I can see. Hey, Sarah, Lizzie. All right. So let's get going on this. First, let me show you one thing. And I hope that you can see this the right direction. 
and don't yell at me because I'm putting up my address, but look at this penmanship. This is from my friend Kimberly Yilatello, who I've known a long time. Isn't that beautiful? And then she did her address on the back and she made this really cool card, this collage card. And that's her and I a long time ago. She sketches. She is so artistic. So she did this really fun um, mat board because we both love mat board. So I love getting this. You know, there's something about snail mail. You can't beat it. So anyway, that's from my friend Kim. And then the other thing is I have been coffee dyeing again. And check out these prints. These are like the best ones I've gotten so far. Isn't that amazing? So I, uh, I cranked out a bunch of index cards and they all did not turn out well. But of course, I put the good ones on the front. So anyway, I'm working on these and doing some stuff with them. And then I want to show you a cool gadget that you can find in the Etsy store, but um, I want to turn the camera down so you can see it there. So let me just make the old switcheroo here. Okay, and hope that everything is going to work out. <laughs> okay, looking pretty good. Um, all right, so let's let's see what we got here. All right, I don't know about you guys, but when you're making the shadow boxes, sometimes it's hard to match up the corners. So what I found were these cool little guides, and I got some, and I thought if anybody wants them, they're in the Etsy store, and they really help when you're lining these up with mitering your corners because you can set them right in here like this and make sure that you get that nice 90 degree edge. So um, anyway, I just happened to have this and thought, see, I didn't get it there. These were these two were ones that I had put together and then um, then I got these. So you can use two together like this, you know, and you, then you get the front and the back and they meet up like almost exactly as they should go. It's really, really helpful. So this is the one that needs two, so I'm not gluing it, but look at how that lines those corners up. Isn't that amazing? Cool helper for corners. Use, use stand platform guide. Yeah, that's a good idea too, yes. Okay, so anyway, there's that. So if you're interested, they're in the Etsy store and go take a look, okay. So let's take another look at these little journals because I just got obsessed with them and I should have been doing a lot of other things, but I wasn't. <laughs> Same old story going down the rabbit hole. Now you can open it either way um, and I'll show you how. This one I did not use with the recycled. Uh, this is just scrapbook paper. You use washi tape, hold them together. Yes, yes. Um, so what you do is you just cut two of your covers, and we'll I'll show you. But then these perfectly fit in there. So I made them a couple different ways. That one I re-glued, so it has this stuff. I'm getting cover them or stamp on them or something. But um, they're really easy. And then this one is just another you know, variation of that. And this is just a cute little flat one. This would go through the mail really well. So that's the first one. Then I did this one because I really like this paper. I got it the other day. It's our, our favorite, that Crafters Consortium. And I like both sides and it's nice and thick. So I thought this would be pretty if I wanted to add my little flowers to have this cloudy background and, you know, on the inside, I would have the pretty flowers. So I made a little one out of that. Now, this one got a little fatter because I added journaling cards. So these are just ones that I got at, uh, I think it was at like Tuesday morning or something. They had a pack of the journaling cards and I got them and, you know, and there's tons of them. So this is another version of that. I don't think, yeah, these I glued together. So we have an accordion album here and then this little flip out book here. 
and it these envelopes fit perfectly. Now, where do you get them? These I got a long time ago. I think I've done a live. Hey, Jen Purple. Um, I, I think I did a Facebook Live at the place where I find all this stuff. It it I don't know if you guys remember Current. It was like a stationary mail order thing like a while ago. Well, they still have envelopes from Current, I think. And they're, you know, they're not brand new. I don't think. I've had them a little while. So this is getting a little yellowed. But you could ink over that or cover it. You know, that would not be hard at all to make like a little V here. Or, you know, just do a piece this size and then chop a little V there. And it would also support the envelope. But um, so there's a couple ways that you can bind it. This one, I just glued these together and folded over. Again, I did not use my recycled packaging on this one. It's only the paper. Okay. Sizzix has a bunch of new and newish envelope dies. You could make your own. And that's what I was thinking. Um, if you wanted to... Oh, you did love Current. I know. I ordered all the time. I loved it. They had a lot of kids stuff. They had thank you cards. You know, all, all good stuff. And I, I'm sad they're gone. But um, what I was thinking was you could use any size envelope and just get the larger journals and, you know, get the envelopes to fit. So I'm going to be playing with that uh, a lot more too. But I really like the size of this. And I also like that, you know... You could send this through the mail. You could add a little gift card in uh, just two envelopes is all you'd have to do. You know, you wouldn't even need to do. You could just have them facing like that, you know, each other, and then just fold it over. Very easy. So you can make it as big or as small as you want. And again, you can scale it to fit with your other envelopes. So that was that one. Then right before I went on, I was like, okay, Let's make one out of the recycled cereal box. So I got my frosted flakes out and you get emails in order from current often. It's still going, Lynn? Wow, I will have to try that. All right, I didn't know that they still were going. All right, now this one, I made a couple little mistakes but I really kind of was happy with how it wound up. So I used some of my stamps on here and this little, little, coupony, you know, I don't know what you call that little book, book circle thing. <laughs> anyway, this one I covered with paper. So I used a six by six pad. So the scale is nice. And then um, I had these, they're Tim Holtz, like I got them at, I don't know where, but they were on sale. Like, uh, I don't know where that was, but it was $1.99, maybe Tuesday morning or one of them. And I didn't realize it came with these little dome things. So that was kind of cool. I just cut, punched out one of my stamps in a circle. It happened to fit in that. And then I just stuck it in there. So, and then I glued it together, you know, glued the back on, and then I glued this on. I'm not sure how that's going to last. It seems pretty sturdy. And I just used dark glitter glue, but... Um, Probably the red line tape would work. So that's how I did that. And then the others are just book page and these are my stamps and that's my stamp. So um, to bind it, I used elastic. So this one, we're gonna make this, but this one is a little different and I love the binding of it. It really came out cool. And I'm seeing lots of options for other journals to be bound this way too. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so, and this is the thing that was <laughs> messing me up. I started going around this way and realized um, I would be going on top of that and I didn't like it. So I just went like, oh, this probably won't work, but <gasps> what? I mean, this simple little thing, it just makes it a lot easier. It closes it nice and tight and it works out great. The only thing is I had oriented it to go back and forth instead of up and down, but I mean, you just turn it around and do this. I think I can only do it once though. Yeah, but that's all right. No, I actually I think I did do it twice. All right, let me figure this out. <laughs> yeah, it does work. Okay. So there's the little closure, which I thought was cute. And then this I kind of 
just tied that on and that is bound down the middle with elastic. So sorry, after I've explained all this, you know, we could have just made one. So let's go ahead and make it. Okay. I'm going to use something a little bit different for paper because I don't want to make the same thing exactly again. So let's just find the things that we used and put them in the pile here. All right. This was the paper that I used for the last one, and I don't know where I got it. I don't even know what the brand is. I've not heard of that before, but it was just a single piece that I had and uh, seemed to work just perfect because it had the nice front and back, and I thought, I'm going to do something neutral. I don't ever do that, but I did. I'm happy to say. Now we're using color. <laughs> so we're going to, hey, dear. All right, he lives. Um, so I just went through this and I got this a long time ago and I thought they were really pretty. I've used some of these uh, in other things, but it's the double sided six by six. It's just a lot of pretty vintagey patterns. And I thought I'm going to use this because you don't have to worry front or back or the orientation. So uh, that's good. One less thing to mess up. So I'm going to just trim this down to six by six. Actually, I'm going to trim it to, all right, let's take a look at our die and just see what's going on here. All right, we're going to have to trim our frosted flakes label or cardboard too. All right, so I'm going to adhere this on ahead of time. So we're going to use some easy cut adhesive sheets. And let me just get some from up here that are already. Well, I have one. All right, well, looks like I have to open another one. But um, we're going to adhere the paper to the cardboard and cover up that frosted flakes thing. And then we'll cut it all at one time. All right, now this. The cardboard is a little bit thicker than the, the other one that I did, but that shouldn't matter too much, okay? So let's get one big shot. No, let's do this first. All right, so what I'm going to do is look at my die, all right? I want it oriented this way. I mean, we could go up and down, and that actually might be cool too. Let's see if those envelopes fit sideways. I don't think they do. Let's just see. Yeah, they're too big. So we have to go this way. I mean, we could hold them that way, but I think it just make, makes more sense to go like that. So let's uh, cover our mat board. So I'm just going to measure. There's one. I better, I better mark it because I'm known for having a little bit short. You know what? I'm just going to cover the whole thing. And I'm going to go on this side because I want to cover this. All right. We might have a little extra, but just for time's sake. Okay. So let's cover this whole thing. And I can make like a journaling card or something else with this. I'm not just limited to this project. They're nice to use for journaling cards. All right. And I'm just trim Dear, could you close the door? He's gargling. All right. Thank you. Good Lord. That man is driving me insane. He is not a good sick person. Okay. Now. All right. We're going to put one on, one on. And then we want to have extra yeah oh okay this is not gonna we're gonna have to do a separate tab for the fold over the other one i used was a long uh eight by twelve or what do you call it now we messed me up with that gargling <laughs> it is working for him though you gotta do what you gotta do um so i think i want these to go this way i just think that looks more realistic and you could even butt them up together and you wouldn't notice the uh, difference but I'll probably cut them separately so let's just trim this while we're at it I'm going to trim it to six and just cover this sheet then we know exactly where we are 
years ago, Eileen came to Rhode Island and you took a class with her in Bella Art. I remember that. Oh, that was so fun. Anna, oh, that was such a good, oh, Anne, yes. I remember you, actually. All right, this is a little bit thick. Wow. Well, it's got the heavy cardboard, the adhesive, and that's a lot. Okay. All right. All right, so... Let's just take this off. It's my pokey tool. Wow, and yeah, it's been a while. How are you doing these days? Did I just see you retired recently? Okay, so I'm just gonna put on my paper. And we just have to remember when we go to cut this, to, you know, match it up right. Mm. Maybe I should go this way. Yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal if it's not perfect, right? <sighs> Probably should have um, done this ahead of time, but I just didn't have time. I got so into that other last one I was doing, I was like, five o'clock, I have to clean. And yes, it took an hour and now I'm gonna have to put everything back the way it was because I won't be able to find it. I just put it on the stairs and all kinds of, all over the place. All right, and a tip for you, if this stuff is, uh, Exposed here, you can either cut it off, which I'm gonna do, or you could take some baby powder and just, that takes the sticky way that doesn't stick to your, your dye, which is not good. I mean, it comes off, but I don't like this on there, so. Then you can ruin your scissors. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and cut our, our pieces out. It's already a half an hour. We haven't even gotten to the project. I'm very sorry, guys. All right. Alicia, congratulations. Today's your 21st wedding anniversary. Oh, that's great. Oh, well, I'm honored that you're here on your anniversary. All right. So which I think this way I want to do. And I'm going to cut out these other pieces, but I'm probably not going to use them. That kind of bugs me. Maybe I'll use them for decoration or something. All right, so I'm trying to match this up pretty well. Let's see how it goes. And the other good thing about working with the recycled stuff is it doesn't matter. It's not going to put those score. Well, it did put these score lines in here a little bit, but on the other ones that I did, they did not show up. So you can really turn it around however you want. Maybe I should put this up a little bit. And you can see all the mess. <laughs> all right, that one might need a little trim. I must have gotten it on the edge. All right, and then we're going to do this again. And so this one went that way. So this one I'm going to turn that way. And that should solve the problem of meeting up the front and the back. It doesn't matter. I don't think if you saw those lot those fold lines or the score lines, it wouldn't matter that much. You know what? I'm gonna send it back this way to make sure that well, my lines cut on this one. Okay, so that's all the cutting we have to do. Yeah, that one worked fine. Okay. So these are kind of cute. We could use them for something. All right. So now we have our book cut out. And this, I'm just going to get my little mat. If this ever happens, just take your, your mat here and get your blade. Leslie, close your eyes. And just get it in the groove there and just cut through. 
and it comes right out, okay? Not to worry. All right, so we have our two covers. And let's see, there's the lines, and here are the lines. So these are going to meet up like that. And I think I'm going to cover both of them. Now, when I did my other one out of cardstock, I did not have scoring lines. So I could adjust the width of my spine here. So I just, I scored on the scoring board half an inch. So you can adjust the, the um, width of the book. You know, this is three quarters. This one actually measures three quarters. So if you wanted to make a thicker one, you know, you can do that, or you can overlap these and just have a 3 8 inch, which I might do because actually we can extend the length of the book. So let's do that because I haven't done that one yet. And then we could add a little pencil. Okay, so I'm just bending these over on the first score line. There are two, but I'm only doing one. Okay, and I'm going to put the book together like that. And look at that, it's longer. See? How fun! Only a little bit, but still. That could be enough to give you your pencil, and that's a good thing. Okay? So, all you do is, I think, what I did, the only thing is, this could be a little bit tight for the crocodile, but I think it's going to work with the grommet, so let's still do that, because I like how secure that was. That really felt like that closed it in pretty well. And I just added temporary adhesive, like a, one of these, you know, just to get it to where it stays together. And then put them together like that. You could use glue too, whatever you want. I'm just doing it so that I have a little breathing room here so it doesn't see I don't want to split it like I just did so I need to move it up a little bit I should have used glue <laughs> I don't know if I even got it on there but let's go ahead and cut punch our holes and then we'll get the grommets in let's actually see oh, it's kind of sticking all right so we're going to use the big hole on the crocodile and just do it like here and here. And what I love about this project, it's such a, you know, inexpensive little book to do. These would be great and fun to do with kids, I think, because they could, you know, put all their little artwork in there, stick them in the envelopes. They love that. They could play with it, add things, their drawings. I was glad we brought stuff for the kids when we went on vacation because they were out there at the art table all the time. We're not sure what all they drew, but my husband had to call my granddaughter Nora last night because she drew him a picture and put it in the, the book and he, he wasn't sure what it was. Oh, shoot. Okay, this way. All right, I should have folded this over better. It'll work more as, ah, uh, all right. Now we have to fix it. Laura, hey, how are you doing? I know, I, I don't know what's going on with Facebook, Laura. They're not happy with me right now. And you can always, you know, go in and distress this if it kind of come, looks too white. Yeah, does everybody have notifications on? I always forget to do that. Oh, I don't have to do that because I have my cool little gadget here. Thank you, Laura, for my jar. All right. Hey, Wilma. You know nothing about the seller. Okay. I'm just checking in. Hey, Brenda, how are you? All right. So we're, we're coming along with our little book. I am not happy that I did that. I even tried not to, but we can cover this with cloth or something. You know, we'll fix it. All right, so on to our envelopes, because that's really the thing that um, I wanted to show you. So 
Let's get our envelopes. And I don't know where you could get these. You know, I like I said, I got them in that. Maybe Curran has them. They're like little gift size envelopes. But you could Google, you know, the size of them and see maybe Amazon has them or something. They're just little tiny envelopes. Pretty cute. Let me move this stuff up. Let me get down a little bit more here. Hey, Barbara Carlson. You didn't get the notification either. What is going on? Facebook. How annoying. All right. So I'm not going to make you watch me do this. But what I did was I took a piece of cardstock, which I figured out I had written on things to do. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize I had written on it after I cut them. And I thought, I'm not cutting more. So what I did was I went through and the one I did eight, six, eight. Uh, let's see how many will fit. Yeah, that should fit. And I just went ahead and I tucked all of these flaps in. You could chop them off, but I feel like it makes it a little bit more sturdy if you tuck them in because it's less work to do. And the other thing you could do to make them look lined is take just a little strip of paper and glue that onto the flap and make it look prettier. So I'm just going to do that on all of these envelopes. Some of them seemed a little bit uh, stuck together, but that's what happens when they sit in the drawer for a couple of years. <laughs> That's all right. And these could have been, I mean, they'd be really cute made out of craft paper, you know, craft envelopes. But you could ink them and you could cover them if you wanted. You use your jar for two different things. Holds your wet lawn fawn stamp cleaning cloth while crafting and two for your tiny scraps on your desk. Well, I have another couple little jars. I should do that. I have a tiny, teeny one for... When I do Mod Podge, you know, I do my glue in here. So I don't like to keep dipping in the brush because I, I can't, in the, the can, because I can't really see where I'm, you know, how deep it is because it's a big jar. Anyway, what I did was I took strips of paper. I scored them down lengthwise. Let me just show you on the scoreboard because it's just kind of a cool tip. You don't have to keep going over and over every line. Let me find a piece of... Well, let's do craft because I might do this again. This would have worked too. Craft paper would work. This is thick. I would probably use a 65 pound. But what I did was I took my scoring tool, which is somewhere to be found but not right this minute. So what I did was, oh, geez, that is someone calling me. Hang on. Sorry, I don't, I can't get to it. And I already, I have to not disturb on. Sorry, guys. Can you guys hear me? Oh, all right. Wait a minute. Uh, that was my mother. <laughs> and I don't know how she got through here because I had to not disturb. Hi. Where's the echo?
guys. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me okay? Oh my lord, that was my mother. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know how she did it. Can you guys hear? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know how she called me because my phone was on Do Not Disturb and then she FaceTimed me and <laughs> that's like time number six today. She is not having a good day and I have to go up there. Anyway, what I did was I just scored every inch. So it's these strips should be about a half an inch. So what I did was I just went every other and did like this. So I did, you know, at six, seven, and then I cut down the middle at the half inch. So that, you know, then I didn't have to score them. Anyway, no big deal, but just trying to save you some time. All right. Oh, good Lord. Mother. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to join these together, put them in our little book. And all we're going to do is glue i'm gonna fold this up and i think it's easier to put the adhesive you know the glue on the envelope and then just line this up and i you know they could go all the way to the end but i didn't think i don't know why i didn't do that but i didn't and then you're just going to flip this over and lay it on top so they're all going the same direction isn't this a cute idea for binding? I love it. So just make sure they're straight. Every once in a while, just stack them and make sure. And on the other one I did, I somehow got them turned around and they were not going the same. You know, they were upside down, which will not work. So anyway, I'm not going to use that one. And sometimes they get doubled up, too. If they're not exactly half an inch, don't worry about it because you're not going to see. You could make them match your paper, you know, like if you if it was solid. Um, you could do that if you wanted. But I think even it's kind of decorative, really. Oops. So that's all there is to this. And it's kind of fun. This is one of those, you know, like boring but fun repetitive jobs. I like them. I think I would have been okay in a factory. Probably told you that already. But only a craft factory. <laughs> All right, so let's check. Yeah, this is good. So we're rolling along here. We do have some good news to share. You are... 11 year old granddaughter got a perfect score on her 4 H scrapbook. But see, the state fair, Lisa, that is your granddaughter for sure. You are so good at it. Lisa is such a clean worker. Her projects are always perfect. Okay, we're getting there. I think that was number five. What are you guys working on? Don't tell me anyone's doing Christmas already. <laughs> that is great. Uh, you know, I thought about that, Glum. I could. It was just easier to... Um, I tried it, in fact. But those scores are a little different because um, they have that gap in the middle, and then I would have to cut them. I was too lazy. Plus, I was kind of in a rush. So I did not. But you could. All right, we're moving along. And you could, you know, add paper to this if you wanted. These really do go pretty quick. Just make sure you only have one because I did that before and then I couldn't figure out. Did I miss it? And you could, you know, butt this up against like a die or something. Make sure all your edges stay flat. Uh, let's 
so all I did for her project was pay for her stickers. <laughs> 11 years old. What size are the envelopes? Oh, good question, Dorothy. They are... They are four and a quarter by three and one uh, eighth. Four and a quarter by three and an eighth. Four and a quarter wide. Yeah, aren't they cute? I think, I mean, they're perfect for like gift cards or journaling cards. And I don't know if I showed you the one where I did the journaling cards. I can show you in a minute when I'm done here. Seem to have a clog. Hopefully we can. Oh, it's just the last one. Okay. And even if they're not perfect, although that one is pretty perfect, gotta say. Uh, is there a chat going on someplace else? Yes, and there is chat on Facebook and on YouTube. So you're probably, there are less people, let's see, we have 59 people in Facebook and we have 19 people in YouTube, okay? So I see all of you, but you only see me, the one, the one that you're in. Okay, let me get some, now I used black and I think that would work. I rarely use black, I don't know why, but that seems vintagey. So I'm just going to thread that through here. And tie that off. Oops. Not too tight. Because this is a little bit bigger. These envelopes are a little bigger. So I'm just going to go to the middle, four and four, and slide it through. Hopefully that's not too tight. Let's see. No. Nope. Now, if for the middle one, you might want to reinforce that a little. See how it's kind of, oh, no, actually, that's fine. It just is notching into the, sec the center there, so it's not going to move. Oh, it's kind of good that I did these strips smaller. I didn't realize. I didn't think of that. But look at that. Isn't it cute? So now we have that. Now this, hmm, we're going to need a strip. Or what we could do is we could just do two little eyelets here and tie it up with, uh, you know, our either twine or I think I have a piece of this stuff. This is kind of romantic and that goes nicely. So let's just do that. Um, because the other one, I'll show you how I did it. I just folded it under. See, I had an extra long strip and I, I wanted to use the whole piece. So I just folded it under when I cut out that die. I folded it under so it didn't go on the score line and wrapped it around. And that's how I made my little closure. But this is way, you know, complicated and it doesn't have to be. So let's do it the easy way. You saw a couple ways, so that's so. Let's just uh, while we have our eyelets out, punch a couple holes. Well, that's the little one. Very hot, a hundred and six. Oh god, that is nuts. Oh, you know what? That's nice because. Uh, I was going to put a pen there, but now we're not going to. That's okay. Let's do our eyelets again. And I mean this me. Yes. Push thumbs up button, everyone. I have done nothing much for three days. Too hot. Oh, you guys don't have air conditioning. I don't know how you're doing it. I don't know how you're surviving. I could not do it. From New York, I'm a wimp. I, I gotta have, I like the cool. 
when we were kids, we didn't have air conditioning up in New York because it just didn't get that hot. But lately, mm. all right, so we can just take a piece of this and trim that up and there we go. I mean, you have to tie it every time, but that's all right. I hardly ever do closures like this because I don't want to have to <laughs> open and close it. That's why I do like elastic or up in there. Didn't want to have to tie a knot, but I think I have to. All right, so that's cute. Don't you think? So you could decorate that up however you like. Um, let me show you what the ones with the journaling cards look like because I had a whole bunch of them. And I just stuck one in each. But, you know, you could do that. It kind of does look like if you line that up, you could make that look like that was your liner for the um, each of the pages. This was, speaking of Lisa Townsend, this is a, a ATC card from her. Is that cute? Is that like a soda can? Yeah, look at how cute that is. I love that. So, you know, keep all your little goodies and you can remember everybody. I love how that looks sticking out of there. So 98, 92. Oh, you're up north too, Anne. 103 in California. Wow, I didn't think California would get that way. And then these I just stuck on here. You know, so if you had scraps of paper, that would work too. You could use dictionary pages depending on the look of your little book. And I'm trying to figure out what to put there. I think like a stamp that has a saying about something. But I don't have a lot that go up and down. So I have to look around in my stuff to see. And then this one. I didn't put anything in here yet because I finished that right before I showed you. Oh, actually, I did some of these. This is one of the uh, stamps from the... Maker Forte summer camp. So they got exclusive um, stamps. So that was one from there. And then, oh, it's just a little thing I had. I, I just make these little things out of scraps and I like to remember how I did them. So I try to keep them. These are some old vintage playing cards, I think from my grandmother. They're not done yet, but they're fun. They fit. And, uh, oh, this is this is my dad's high school graduation picture. Um, I was working on a project the other day, and I thought, I'm going to print out a couple of them. And so I made that little envelope from one of my dies. Uh, I can't remember what, but it was sitting on the table. So anyway, um, oh, these are some cards I got in a thrift store. He was prone to laziness because he never had to work. <laughs> so the, they're like little vocabulary cards. And then on the back, they have um, the definition. So I thought they were kind of fun. I might put some in the shop because I have a lot of them. There was like a box of them. Anyway, that's that one. So what would you guys put in here? Gift cards? That was so easy and recycled. I mean, it didn't even, all it cost was a piece of paper, really, and some adhesive, you know? So, I don't know. All kinds of fun stuff could go in here. They're addicting, just saying. And this one's not even decorated up, but you have the basic idea. Recipes for gift, yes. ATC cards, and yes. That you have aircon. No, we don't have. It's very oops. Oh, air conditioning. Yes, we have it here. Oh, you have wildflowers, fires. 
your parents' graduation pics. Isn't it fun? I mean, my dad was, he was a maniac. He was a good guy. He was, if I was his mother, I would be insane. <laughs> it was hard enough being his daughter. Because <laughs> sometimes my mother said he acted like one of the kids. <laughs> oh, well, you get what you get, right? <laughs> so um, let me just, let's go up here if I can. Uh Okay, let's go back to here. So, sorry for that little uh, snafu there. Explain the colored tape on my die. Yes, I will do that. Uh, let me go. Yes, what I do is, um, if you can see, now because I wanted a rounded tab, sometimes when those are butt butted up next to each other, wait, let me put them on here so you can see because there's like a little place where stuff can collect. See that? See those little angled things? Um, map board tends to get stuck down in there, but, and the foam that is part of the die will get packed in because the map board is pressing it down and it, after a while it doesn't like spring up. So I just add more foam and this is just fun foam that I put on with adhesive, uh, like I use the uh, Easy Cut adhesive, and uh, and then I put it on the end too, because there's that little gap right there, just where the angles might clog up. So uh, this doesn't happen too much, but this one does. So I have to pick that out pretty often with my die pick, because that gets you know various. I see some like that has cereal box in it right now. So you just want to make sure and clean it out every once in a while. And I do that also on my journal dies, wherever there are holes uh, that, you know, collect the um, little map board circles. I pick, pick them out. Well, good. Yes, share. And or, you know, if you have another die and envelopes that work with uh, them, I will say if anybody has the pocket notebook, uh, the six and three quarters, wait, let me see if I, one right here, no, these are different, but there are six and three, six and three eighths, I think, lengthwise, those fit, and you can get them at the dollar store, they're like check envelopes, I don't know what they call them, but those will fit in your pocket notebook, so you could use those if you can't find these little ones, even though the little ones are cute, but if you got those, you could put a little divider in the middle and do two lengthwise. Anyway, isn't it fun? Any other questions here? Yes, yeah, several uses. I think so, Belinda. I'm so happy to be back here and home and, you know, for a little while anyway. Then we'll be on the road, which is fun too. So I hope everybody's having a good summer. Everyone is healthy and uh, you stay that way. And um, I'll be back on Thursday at one, two o'clock, <laughs> one o'clock central, two o'clock Eastern on the Michaels website. And I will, in the fan club, I will put the link to that show again, just so you have it. Yes, it is always nice to be fun. Um, when will I be live again? And that's going to be on Thursday. I'm doing a Mi Michaels class. I'm not sure if you were here for it, but this is what we're going to make. They're little earrings made out of leather and we painted them. So if you want to come and see how to do that, we'll be there. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for coming. And um, make sure you go to the blog. We have uh, this travel memories theme going and we'd love to see what you're making. If you're doing any travel journals this summer or anything that you're doing, really, we're just very nosy. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know and be inspired. Okay. So thanks for coming and we'll see you on Thursday at Michael's. All right. And then again, we'll be live, excuse me, on Tuesday. So we're back in a regular schedule Tuesdays at six and Thursdays at four, except not this Thursday. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Bye.